I want the students to see that there are people who look like them, who are from this community, who find various ways to get out there and they bring it back. Arts and education, which is wonderful to me. Guerrilla Arts has always had phenomenal teachers, phenomenal artists, and so um, that hasn't changed, that's remained constant. I think as artists though, we've like developed our craft and as your shirt says, right, we just keep creating ourselves. The growth has been phenomenal. I'm humbled and very elated to just be a part of Guerrilla Arts and to have these relationships and be able to communicate with such wonderful talent. In 2006, I founded Guerrilla Arts uh, out of a need to provide arts and cultural programming in schools. With the No Child Left Behind laws, uh, a lot of that programming was cut and I was running and encountering teachers and principals and program directors who were saying, look, I can't afford a full-time art or music teacher position. The name is from that urgency that, you know, by any means necessary approach to delivering the service and uplifting our kids and our communities. Academics is always priority one but um, we want to also provide them with another skill besides academics so that um, they can have options. Some prompts uh, challenge them to kind of dig deep into some of their experiences and some of the places within them that they don't want to explore. And for me and to me, that's what writing is all about. Writing saved my life, so you know, I push them to, to use the platform that's being provided. Art in general is that people think that they have to be able to draw. Um, that's immediately what they um, assume. And what I try to teach them through using sculpture as a method, as a, a medium, is that they don't have to be able to draw in order to um, create. And that creating, part of creating is just coming up with your own ideas and putting them down however you can represent them. And the class that I teach is a theater of the oppressed, hip hop form, stage play. Um, it focuses on shifting mindsets and shaping realities uh, through storytelling and using hip hop and spoken word as the main delivery throughout the play. When you become an achiever though, the standard has been set for you to be that leader in your community. Part of our scholarship is citizenship. Um, so it's not just about the academics. We don't select students based on your GPA or SAT scores. It's all about who you are. And more importantly, who are you willing to be? Your community needs you. It needs you as a leader. Are you willing to step up to the plate? <laughs> It's not enough to just say get out the hood. We get out the hood, we get what we get, and then we come and bring it back so that we can help other people get out. I'm still close with some of the students who were in the program last summer. Um, I've had students come over to, the, to my office, to my studio, and continue to record. And this extends from work that they began here in this particular program, so definitely a mentor and relationship. It's not much you have to do every day. You just gotta come in, participate, and yeah, basically show up. I mean, just don't take this opportunity for granted. It's not many opportunities like this. Be passionate. Always have a, a vision of what you want to do and who you want to be.